This, this very strong rhythmic uh, element, of course, means that there's wonderful opportunities for dance uh, in this opera. Sorry to keep you waiting so long, Alita, but you know, your <laughs> contribution is absolutely fantastic. Wakey, wakey. Uh, and, and there is so much action and movement uh, in this show. And I, I got the impression when we were watching the rehearsals growing when we first did it at Covent Garden that you were all the time adding new things. New opportunities for dance seemed to be presenting themselves. So it wasn't just like the lap dancing scene or whatever. You seemed to be inventing new, new movements all the time. Is that what happens? Yes, I mean, it, um, it doesn't, the opera doesn't have the, the Act Three ballet. There isn't a long <laughs> dance sequence. <laughs> no, it has the Act <laughs> Three um, <laughs> In fact, that's what's rather wonderful about it, that it, it, it moves, it's so lean and moves so quickly through the different episodes, that um, it was about finding within it a um, movement which helped us do that. So there, there isn't any kind of um, fantasy dancing in it or, or just dance breaks. We were sort of really looking at a way of sort of establishing a language so we knew exactly where we were, we're in a doctor's room, and that any of the dancing or movement helps define what kind of place we're in. And then suddenly, we're in a club and what that club's like and trying to find a way of setting it up very quickly because actually there's very few bars where there's not you know a character or a moment happening as I say it moves very quickly um, I remember right at the beginning because I don't read music and uh, and so I was these tapes from the workshops were really precious <laughs> I said have you got one Richard and he did have one so he brought this tape round and it was really fuzzy <laughs> Um, to, to hear, but it was the chorus singing the opening of the show. And um, we were in my living room, and Richard said, you know, I think we really need to find the way they move, because they should always move in unison. And, uh, and Richard's a brilliant choreographer, so it was really good fun working that out together. And then from that, it, I, sort of, I felt like I had enough information to then move on and... And as you say, start filling in more and, and, and pushing it further because we had that first moment together. And a lot of the choreography seemed to work like that, that once um, we'd done a little bit of work together or you'd seen something, even if it was just the beginning of an idea, and said, no, it's that, that's the right way to go. It was then um, an exciting journey to fill that out and let it grow. And we've still been putting new things in. Even, even um, for the dress rehearsal yesterday, there were still little movements or little moments that we were still kind of crafting. So I think the whole thing almost has a feeling of being choreographed. So like that Cirque doesn't necessarily you know? mean yeah. dancing, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. Sorry. So, to Soleil. <laughs> 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 